Peggy here. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. It is Wednesday, November the 9th, and I'm so glad that you're here watching Being With Us Live or on replay if you're here live or on replay. Put in comments, uh, say hi if you're live, put in hashtag replay if you're watching it on replay. O'Neill, and if we haven't met before, I'm the founder of this Facebook community, Answering the Call, and I created it because a lot of us, I believe, have this internal call, this longing, this seeking, that there must be something more to life, or I'm not quite totally, I don't feel totally aligned with who I truly am. There's something that, that keeps us seeking in life. And that seeking is, uh, is a call. It's an invitation. It's our true selves inviting us, calling us back to ourselves to know who we truly are. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing it through exercises, harmonizing experiences like we're gonna do some of today, and uh, inquiries, questions to ask ourselves. We've got to investigate. It's not, this is not a conceptual, uh, process or conceptual um, group. It requires us doing our own investigation until something clicks for us. That's the only way to answer the call and to return to and know our essential nature where at some point we're no longer seeking because we've established ourselves in essential, our essential nature. This can happen quickly for most of us. It's a while. It takes a while. So thank you for being here, and let me see if there's anybody here that says hi. Okay, nobody's here yet, or at least said hi yet. So we'll begin today's process. So today is a guided process to experience your infinite nature. And we're going to start with looking, looking at the edge of our body. Look at the edge. So we look at our, the edge of our body, and it looks like an edge there, right? I mean, there's an edge. Looks like... I end here and then whatever I air is there or if it's on a table there's a table next to it and so we've been conditioned and trained our minds and our belief system to believe that and early on in life we realized well we had a concept that we're separate and then we keep we keep adding beliefs onto that to help solidify the sense of that we're a separate self when we're actually one with everything there is no separation and of course, if we're one with everything, then we're infinite in nature. So that's what we're up to today, is to, is to, uh, is to examine this belief that we're separate and we're finite. So we identify with the edge of our body. We think we're finite, we're small. Then we must be this limited, finite being in this huge universe. And then we feel small and limited when we're the whole universe. Okay, so back to the edge of our body. So we've all experienced a mirage, right? You've been uh, like outside, it's really hot and the pavement has a shiny glisten to it and it looks kind of like water. That's a mirage. This is the same thing. This is a mirage. This is an illusion. Now, so what's happening that we experience this illusion of an edge to our body? There are, we, uh, we, ex we have our senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. We have sensations in our body. So the combination of those lead to us perceiving an edge to our body and interpreting that as an edge to our body and acting as if there's an edge to our body, which would keep us separate from everything else. But now let's think about it. Even if we didn't keep exploring right now, we can realize that we can't be separate. I was just outside and experienced the wind. The wind was brushing up against my hand, my arms, my body. We're not separate. The air right now, see we're in a room, you're probably in a room without a fan and you may not be experiencing the sensation of air up against your skin. There's air right there, no separation. And the air is actually made of consciousness, everything is made of consciousness. We're made of consciousness. Air is. Scientists, some of them say exactly what I'm saying today. Some of them haven't, haven't gotten so far as to know non-duality. So they say that consciousness is, uh, that we're all energy, that we're one energy. And, but 
what energy is made up is up is made up of is consciousness. So all there is is consciousness. Right now, the air you're breathing in, consciousness. You breathe it out, consciousness. So we can let that sink in right now and over time that you remind yourself, you pay attention. Oh, I'm breathing in consciousness. I'm breathing out consciousness. We're always shedding cells. We're always rejuvenating cells. We're exchanging everything with what seems to be outside of us. So then we start to realize that like a whirlpool in a river, the water's feeding the whirlpool, the water comes out, but there's never any separation. Even though I said the water comes out, I mean, it's not, all the water doesn't stay, all, it's not the same water, it keeps moving. Same here, everything's vibrating, everything's moving, everything's a process. We're not stagnant, even though again, we tend to look at ourselves, think we're stagnant. We're not, all an illusion. So now, let's, if you're not driving, close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. If not, then look out six to eight feet in front of you and soften your eyes to relax your eyes. But when we close our eyes and don't remember the edge of your body, don't bring in the memory, you close your eyes and notice you cannot find the edge of your body. You might experience sensations where your hamstrings and hips are touching a chair, your feet on the floor, your back against a chair. You notice sensations, maybe something like pressure-like sensations, but you can't find an edge. Even the pressure, there's no separation between you and the chair. There's a sensation, but not a separation. You can't find like a space, a line between the two, a division. So as you're breathing in and breathing out, remember, oh, I'm breathing in consciousness, source, spirit. It's all that's ever happening. I'm breathing that out as well. And I can't experience the edge of my body. Let, don't listen to your thoughts right now. Your thoughts might be telling you, oh, this is you know all made up or this is a nice idea. No, this is reality we're talking about. That's what's so important here from my point of view that we're at a time where we can know reality. We can know who we truly are. We don't have to continue to believe that we're this finite beings. We can experience and know who we truly are. What's the value in that? Well, all kinds of possibilities can come to us when we open to that, but it has to happen in our experience, not conceptually. Otherwise, we'll only keep having ideas and concepts and possibilities that align with the limitations that we believe ourselves to be. Okay, so I'll be quiet for a few seconds here for you to really let it sink in. I cannot find the edges to my body. And so that's the reality that we're one with all that is. So why do we experience edges to your body? Well, I, I, like I said, we have senses and perceptions that interpret that, but also we are here to live this human experience, to go about expressing the universe in the way that it's trying to express through us. And that requires a human body and the ability to pick up things and move through things and drive cars and um, so on. So, but it's actually not, it's, it's not what we believe it to be. There is a reality to it. Don't want to say there's no reality. There's a reality to it. It's just not what we believe. So great. So we're getting to the bottom of it. We're investigating. Yes, I can't experience the edge. Okay, now, Moving past that, we can't experience the edge. However, even with our eyes closed, we can tend to experience ourselves as this limited being. So it might still feel experientially kind of tight in. Like, you know, like this now with your eyes closed, it might feel more like a blob. <laughs> you know, that you're experiencing this, this dense energy in this enclosed or seemingly enclosed kind of contained space. Well, let's see about breaking through that as well. 
So allow yourself to right now to imagine expanding the space that you are out another 10 feet. So allow yourself to experience zooming out 10 feet beyond what you used to believe was the edge of your body. Experience that. And now zoom out, say a hundred feet. And as you're doing so, allow yourself to notice any sounds, smells, sensations. And let all that be included and notice it's all in your experience. There's no separation between your experience and any of those sensations. And now expand out, say a mile. in all directions, including behind you, below your feet, out in all directions. Expand your awareness out a mile or so, way out there. Now 10 miles out. and keep expanding, keep zooming out. Don't listen to any thoughts that want to tell you something's happening other than what you're doing right now. You're expanding the knowing of who you are. back to this video anytime. You can just do this on your own. Keep investigating this, experiencing this until it becomes second nature. That's what will happen eventually. This belief in a separate being that you're finite, limited, will move into the background the more you allow yourself to experience what you just did, which is reality. The other is an illusion. When you allow reality to be experienced more and more and more, that becomes the experience that informs your life, informs what's possible to come to you in the form of ideas, possibilities, creativity, being in relationships. Imagine how you would be in relationship, experiencing them and you as one being with this experience, this knowing. You bring that to all of life, all your activity, and to your own everyday experience. So are there any questions or comments? If you're watching this on replay, always open to questions and comments, so I'll answer them, as you know. <laughs> all right, great. Well, thank you for being here today. And you can spend more time doing this. This is just like an introduction, just kind of a... Uh, exercise if you will and keep keep going with it go further spend more time there or spend less time spend two or three minutes a day with this and that will start informing your experience your knowing it'll become more and more real and certain for you uh, next week I'm on vacation however if everything goes as planned at two o'clock next Thursday Central Time I'm going to be posting through the way of posting ahead of time uh, a link to a video that's about um, all that we're doing here about uh, this man explains in his own way who we truly are and the reality of it and it's he's, he's very good at what he does so I will get that posted um, uh, about the time we normally meet two o'clock on next Thursday central time all right have a great couple of weeks and I'll be back in person in uh, two weeks from tomorrow.